hello good day viewers welcome back once again in our today's video we're going to find the derivative of the given following equation we have x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus y squared plus 4y raised to the power of 5 this is equal to 15. now let's get started now this we're going to make use of the method of implicit differentiation right we're going to differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to x. So here we have d dx of x to the power of 4 plus x cubed y squared plus 4y to the power of 5. This is also equal to d dx of 15. Now from here, we open up this bracket, we get the derivative of x to the power of 4 with respect to x plus d dx of x cubed y squared plus d dx of 4y to the power of 5. This is equal to the derivative of a constant and that is 0. Okay, now we're going to treat y separately. You know, y treating y as a function of x. Now, from here, we know our normal derivative. The derivative of x to the power of 4 with respect to x is 4x to the power of 4 minus 1, which is 3. Then, plus. Now, from here, we're going to make use of the product rule. Right? So, make use of, this, of the product rule from here. This is going to be equal to x cubed multiplied by y squared prime. Then, plus x cubed prime multiplied by y squared and from here we have plus we have to differentiate 4y to the power of 5 with respect to x now to do this we'll be making use of the chain rule well the easier way to always remember how to do this is when we differentiate y to the power of 5 with respect to y then we multiply by the derivative of the inner function y, which is y prime, right? So here we go. Now the derivative of this will be the derivative of y to the power of 5 first. That will give us 4 times the derivative of y to the power of 5. That will give us 5y to the power of 4. Then multiply by the derivative of the inner function y, which is y prime. Then this is equal to 0. Okay, now from here we have 4x cubed plus x cubed. Now, to differentiate y squared, we'll be making use of the product rule, right? But the easier way to always remember this, or the easiest way to always remember how to do this is differentiate y squared multiplied by the derivative of the inner function y, which is y prime. So here we have times the derivative of y squared with respect to y, that will give us 2y. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is y prime. Then plus here, the derivative of x cubed, you know, our normal derivative, that will give us 3x squared. Then multiply by y squared. Plus 4 times 5, which is 20, then y to the power of 4, multiply by y prime. This is equal to zero. Now, let's group the terms with y prime together. So here we get x, that is 2x cubed y from here, multiplied by y prime, then plus from here, 20y to the power of 4 multiplied by y prime. This is equal to now 4x cubed and 3x squared times y squared crossing over that would be negative 4x cubed minus 3x squared y squared from here we factor out y prime so we get y prime into bracket 2x cubed y plus 20y to the power of 4 this is equal to negative 4x cubed minus 3 x squared y squared now from here we get y prime is equal to if you divide both sides by 2x cubed y 
plus 20y to the power of 4, we get negative 4x cubed minus 3x squared y squared, then all over 2x cubed y plus 20y to the power of 4. Now, do not forget that our y prime is the dy dx. From here, we find the derivative as negative 4x cubed minus 3x squared y squared all over 2x cubed y plus 20y to the power of 4. And this is the right answer. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also, like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.